A lot of people have been asking me how they can jumpstart their photography career. And I always tell them that the best camera that you can use is the one that you have with you. And most likely, that's your mobile phone. The main reason why I love mobile phones is because of the technology. It has actually disrupted the photo and video industry. I am finally talking about mobile photography and I'm gonna teach you guys some composition techniques and some features that you can take advantage of so you can take better mobile photos. The first step, guys, is to make sure that you clean your lens. Just make it a habit because this is usually the major culprit for blurred images. Tip number two is to turn on the grid lines of your phone. So this is actually useful for beginners. These are two horizontal lines and two vertical lines that will help you compose your images better. Light is your main ingredient. There's a sun sign that comes out of the screen when you try to focus on a particular object. And you can actually adjust if you want it darker or if you want it brighter. In order for you to have very nice photos, you need to have a properly exposed image. So here are my favorite composition techniques. So I told you a while ago to open your grid lines. Rule of thirds is basically placing your subject in one of the intersection points. The easiest thing for us to do is to position our subject dead center and it looks boring. So try the rule of thirds. When I have a hard time figuring out where the subject is, the photo is not properly composed. You can use leading lines to direct your audience eyes towards your subject. So there are types of symmetry. There's horizontal symmetry, vertical symmetry. So we're here in the beautiful Manila, And as you can see, I'm approaching Jones Bridge. Oh, di ba? Basically, the left and the right sides are mirror images. So reflections is also a kind of symmetry. Being more observant to textures and patterns that you see around, whether it's man-made or not. Look at rock formations, brick walls, leaf patterns. The easiest way to highlight texture and patterns is to play with your contrast and the shadows on your phone. There's also a structure option in VSCO, Instagram. Check that out too. Play with triangles for movement, for balance, and for point of interest. Oh, isa pa, sa pari, patakbo ka naman. <laughs> We see it everywhere, in women, with our bodies, in animals. If we incorporate curves in our photographs, it will create a sense of nature, a sense of movement. It will make the shot dynamic. When we went to Escolta, I noticed that the painting on the road is color yellow. Then there was this Sarau Jeep that is colored yellow and green. When you see a particular location with a set of colors that you think complement each other, include that in your composition. Frame within a frame is when you frame your subject within another frame that's already in your frame. Nagets yung bayon? Your frame can be a window or a door or a hole or something, and your subject is inside that frame. Sometimes, we like to see the elements in a macro perspective, so don't be afraid to zoom in. When your shutter speed is fast, it will be able to freeze the moment. 
Now, if the shutter speed is slow, it's gonna make your movement blurry, but it's gonna create dramatic effects like light streaks. Just so you know, with night photography in your cameras, you see light streaks, it's brighter. It's because the shutter speed is slower. Your cameras have portrait lenses, wherein it gives you an option if you want your background to be blurry and to just highlight your subject. Now, with wide lenses, the overall photo is sharp. Our phone cameras have distortion. You want to stay in the middle to avoid the distortion. That's it, guys. Those are my tips on how to level up your mobile photography game. Whatever photography composition techniques that I apply professionally, it can definitely be applied in your mobile phones. Just to give you a recap, don't forget guys to clean your lens, your grid lines on your phones. Light is everything in photography. Composition techniques will really make your photos stand out. Inspiration is everywhere. Experience just about everything and bring your cameras with you. Take a lot of photos for memories. This is me, Jaja Samaniego. And guys, always remember to trust the process.